A petition is circulating around Dallas to decriminalize marijuana possession within the city limits. The goal is to get enough signatures to get the so-called Dallas Freedom Act on the November ballot. Fox 4's Alex Boyer outside Frank Crowley Courthouse tonight in Dallas with the story. Alex. Hey, Steve, you know, this coalition is really building off of successful marijuana reform campaigns in Texas cities like Austin, San Marcos, Killeen, and right here in Denton. They need 20,000 signatures in order to get that referendum on the ballot. Outside the Frank Crowley Courthouse in Dallas Monday, a coalition of community organizations held a rally to decriminalize marijuana in the city of Dallas. Our jail is full of people that have been arrested for misdemeanor arrest. And when we look at misdemeanor and simple possession of marijuana, it's no different. The group needs 20,000 signatures from City of Dallas registered voters to get what's been dubbed the Dallas Freedom Act on the November ballot. To amend the City of Dallas charter so that Police do not give citations and do not arrest folks for misdemeanor marijuana possession. If passed, the act would also prohibit the city from allocating any budgeted resources for THC concentration tests, which is the only confirmed way to test whether a substance is legal hemp or illegal marijuana. The act has support from the Dallas Democratic Party and at least one local justice of the peace. And provide clarity and consistency for courts, for families, for police, and for everyday people in the city of Dallas. It's happening in many cities, uh, especially because cities have a great deal of influence over who their police officers uh, pull over, who gets stopped, who gets served. Dr. Timothy Bray is the director of urban policy research at UT Dallas. Bray says currently the Dallas Police Department operates under what's called sight and release when it comes to what is considered small or personal amounts of marijuana possession, but added that without a voter referendum, that could change at any time. Uh, amending the city's charter makes it more difficult for future councils or future residents to change the initiative. A May 2023 report generated by Dallas Action found black residents of Dallas make up a disproportionate number of arrests by Dallas police, including for minor marijuana possession offenses. Dr. Bray has seen that in his research too. African Americans and other people of color may be four to five times as likely to be arrested for marijuana possession. So decriminalization lowers those effects. And organizers say it's important to note that they are not trying to legalize marijuana possession in Dallas. That would have to be done at the state level. They are seeking to decriminalize marijuana possession. Uh, the uh, organizers also say that they are confident that they will get those 20,000 signatures to get it on the ballot and do believe it will ultimately pass.